Hi, Carl here, KE0JWK. I'm back with part two. Okay, so um, basically, you know, you, you put all your wire ends in where they belong on the on the XYZ coordinates. Um, it's, it's really simple to do, especially if you made your little sketch. Um, you have to do a little bit of math to figure out uh, the dimensions of where you want them. This antenna, um, you can see these uh, radials are angled down. Um, they're not quite at a 45, um, but, uh, you know, that can all be changed in here. And uh, in the upcoming video, um, that's, I'll, I'll show you, that's one of the benefits of using the, uh, the variables, uh, i.e. the symbols, as the program likes to call them. I'll give you a quick glimpse there. Um, you can define them all, describe them uh, with a comment, and uh, then when you get ready to make changes, whether in length or, um, you know, you want to scale this antenna up, let's just say, to uh, 20 meters. Um, it's just a matter of changing one number uh, for each variable as opposed to having to go through and change all these things. Um, <clears throat> so let's uh, run the program. And uh, um, as I said in the last video, if you've got questions, uh, please put them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer um, or refer you to uh, to some place where you can find the answer. Uh, that CBIC series is going to teach you a lot, not specifically on using 4NEC, but just in modeling on in general. So this is a little calculator button here. You've got the same one in the main screen. They both take you to the same place. Um, so let's run the pattern on it. We've got it on far field pattern. And give it a second to work. Uh, if you've got anything wrong in any of these boxes, it'll give you a warning and it'll tell you to run a segment check. Um, if you need to do that, once you got your geometry screen here, um, click on validate, and uh, there's a uh, you can click on run segment checks, and it'll give you. It's a little hard sometimes to uh, to to figure out what the problem is, but it'll give you a clue at least what wires it's on, and and you know where to look that way. So here's the pattern for this antenna. At the base of it's 158 inches off the ground. Um, you're looking at a view from the side of the antenna. Um, we can uh, show both from the side and above. So you, we can see by that red line, it's an omnidirectional antenna, um, almost perfectly uh, round there. Um, get that back out of the way. Um, as soon as I find it, there it is. Um, so anyway, here's the pattern. Let's uh, let's look over here, and uh, on the view, I can have it show um, the near and far field patterns. It brings up basically what was in that pretty uh, color picture view that I had on at the beginning of the series, um, and I'll pop that on here too. But if you turn this just right, where you're looking at it from the side you can see that it matches uh, the pattern on this view here. So it helps you visualize the things a little better that's going on. If you see that deep null there, you see that uh, straight above the antenna, you also see it in here. Um, you can spin this any which way you want to look at it. And let's let's bring up that, uh, that other 3D view. <clears throat> okay, that's the, that's the same thing that you're looking at in... Uh, in this box down there um, you can make some changes to not changes to it but different uh, look at different parts of the antenna or different things about it let's look at the currents on this antenna um, it shows you uh, it's off the off the main radiator it is very high current at the bottom going down to nothing at the top which is uh, um, what we're looking for here um, remember that makes uh, this a high voltage point up on top uh, low current, high voltage, uh, they're going to be inverse. We can look at the magnitude of it, which, you know, sometimes, uh, I'll click on both here, uh, filling in those lines. If you've got an antenna with a lot of lot of tubing, i.e. a lot of wires, sometimes it helps it uh, helps you, you see uh, the magnitude and what's going on there a little better. Um, we can bring the pattern up on, uh, on this view. And as you'll see, just like down here, it uh, it matches <clears throat> to a T. We can we turn this and look at any view. You'll see that deep null and.
uh, just in these views about what's going on uh, uh, with your design. So let's close these out and let's do another calculation and let's get some uh, serious information here. Uh, we're going to do a frequency sweep. Um, go down, uh, and choose what you want to look at. I want to look at the vertical uh, view of it. Um, we're going to start at 140 megahertz and stop at 150 megahertz. We can change this to anything we want. Um, we're going to do it in half megahertz steps. Um, if you uh, um, make this, like if I change that to quarter megahertz steps um, and then generate, it's probably going to give me an error message uh, because it's, it's too many points for it to calculate. Uh, let's see if that happens or not. Yeah, tick tock, tick tock, right? Um, it's a little, the more points you, you give it to calculate, and it did do a uh, quarter megahertz. So um, the more points it calculates, the longer it takes. Um, this is fine. I was going to switch it back, but this is okay. Here we're looking at the SWR curve. Um, the reflecting coefficient, you can see it, it pretty much mimics the SWR a little bit deeper. Um, the impedance, um, it's going to give you our resistance. It's going to give us our uh, reactance. Um, you can see the scales for them in, uh, on the sides. Um, it's going to give us <clears throat> our complex impedance here and uh, the phase of the antenna. So at a, click anywhere on this that you want. And we're at 147, which is what I designed it for. Um, our, our Z our, is 38.46, a little bit low. And uh, so if we want to do something about that, I'm just going to flip back to SWR for a second here. It brings that line over, and you can see at the same place what you've got going on there. So if we want to do something about um, this uh, low impedance here, we can... Uh, get out of that we can go back to our editor and we can change how far down these radials are angled um, which is going to change that impedance so in this case uh, they're probably only at uh, about I don't know 35 degrees or so so we can angle these down a little more um, when we do that it uh, we might need to uh, to change the length on them a little bit too but uh, that'll come more toward the end of the tweaking and that's where these symbols are really going to pay off because instead of having to go through and and change all these manually um, we can just change a variable and it'll change and it'll uh, it'll automatically make the changes and then the real sweet part about using symbols is that um, you can have the program tweak the antenna for you once you get close to where you want to be um, it'll uh, uh, make any adjustments you want just so long as there's a variable there for that and uh, we'll get on into that on down the line uh, further into this series all right that uh, uh, th oh, I didn't uh, didn't bring you back to the main window here um, calculate run this sweep again real quick it also gives you a lot of the uh, the main on the main window gives you a lot of information here once it gets done uh, running its calculations uh, gives you your voltage impedance parallel form SWR um, remember right up here is the the uh, it's at 147 so if we go back over here and change our frequency that it's set for and run it again uh, that's going to be different numbers in all of these so anyway uh, that'll do it for this time um, I'll, uh, I'll get back with the next one just as quick as I can um, I hope you learned something or enjoyed laughing at me or whatever. Just uh, hit the like button if you did. Uh, share, the, share it with your friends if you think they're interested. Um, if you uh, want to be uh, notified of the next one that comes up, uh, hit the subscribe button. Um, the, uh, I uh, appreciate every one of you. So please leave a comment uh, with your questions or just uh, telling me where I made a mistake or didn't explain something where good enough. Uh, um, I've got uh, thick skin, uh, so uh, I can uh, take uh, constructive criticism really well. Um, anyway, 73 Carl here, K E 0 J W K.